what's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new episode of my FIFA 22 create a club career mode last episode the very first episode we created MFFC look at it here all in its beautiful glory if you did miss the last episode we customized the club did all that customization so there'll be no customization in this episode it'll be the first league game of the season this episode so if you are one of them people that like to see the club being made and all go check out the first episode the link will be in the description but anyways without further ado let's get cracking mffc future is bright with kyo at the helm let's do this right so basically Let's set out on our journey to win the uh, League 2. So with the League season right around the corner, because we didn't really enter any, um, we didn't really, I mean, we didn't enter any pre-season tournaments, we are going to make some transfers before we crack on with this season. And my transfer approach to this is going to be one of just kind of getting in promising young players to build us up through the league through league one league uh league two league one the championship and then into the premier league by the time we get to the premier league they should be developed enough to hopefully keep us up <laughs> but we don't know we don't know but that's the beauty of it uh off screen just really quick i did do uh, a little bit oh wait it never saved Anyways, never mind then. Because off screen, I had done like all the scouting stuff for like, you know, positions like uh, center mid, right mid, uh, left mid, all that jazz. But clearly, it didn't save. So we're going to do that right now. <laughs> Get rid of free kick specialists and first team. I just don't, I don't, I don't really care. First team quality, we don't need that right now. What we need is, we need young talent. We need all the young talent around the leagues. So we're going to go center back. We're going to go promising. And we went pacey there. And then we'll do age, we'll do 16 to about 22. 22 is kind of the age, the cutoff age I'm looking for here. And we'll do that for every other position, so I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I've basically just done this now real quick. We've got the main positions covered here. you got your centre-back promising, centre-mid promising, full-back winger and goalkeeper promising. And obviously striker as well, but that's just always like... A default thing that always happens pacey prolific whatever you know i think we're good with our striker for now because you know he's 72 rated not too bad you know generated player as well so you never know how they're gonna turn out but yeah my main focus is to strengthen the midfield a bit but not strengthen the midfield a bit but you know bring in some young talent because our two midfielders here curtis and i still can't say his name <laughs> Vaghan, Vaghan, if, look, someone in the comments, just, like, spell it out for me word for word, or the pronunciation, because I can't do this. Anyways, Vaghan and Curtis, they're a bit older, they're about 27, 28, so I want to keep the squad young. So I'm going to be looking, and I'm going to be dipping into the market for a few young centre mids, attacking midfielders as well will do. I'll take a Cam or a centre mid, I have one Cam in mind, uh, so we're actually going to go over him now. He plays for this club right here, Manchester United, we're going to dip in, you know. Uh, and it goes by the name of Hannibal. Hannibal, uh, let's see if he will come to us on a loan. I don't think we'll be able to buy him. Uh, we'll see if he comes on a loan. Also, another player that I want to go with is the Irish brilliance of Ogbené. Okay, Ogbené, I had him in my other career mode. He actually turns out to be all right. He is a right wing back though. So we're going to have to do a position change into right mid. But when he gets going in right mid, he actually is a really good asset to have. So I'm going to go and I'm going to try and get Ogbené. I'm going to try and get Hannibal and we'll see where we're at. I don't know if Hannibal will go to us because uh, we're in League 2, but we'll see. Um, we'll just an approach to loan. Okay, we can approach to loan, which is good. Where, you know, usually they're like, oh, my skills. I don't like, I don't want to go to that league because of my skills or whatever, my skill level. Whatever that, you know that shit that they always say. But yeah, basically, just a basic loan, uh, length of the contract. We'll go with, we'll see if they do a two year. Um, I think they will. Yeah, that just does not look like Ralph Ragnick whatsoever. <laughs> well, you know what? The hairline's fairly spot on. But besides that, everything else is just all over the shop. <laughs> they agree with a 50-50 wage split. So we'll see if Hannibal now... Uh, accepts now Ogbené I think I might approach to buy Ogbené um, and if that fails we'll go for him on loan so we'll try and buy him first and then if it fails we'll go for a loan we only have a transfer budget of 5 million so do I just chance and go like 2.5 mil for Ogbené I don't think they're going to accept I think it's going to storm out and be pissed Oh, no, a reasonable offer. Never mind. <laughs> All right, Ogbené, let's negotiate, man. The Irish Messi, okay? 
He's our messiah now, okay? You're gonna have an important role in our team. That doesn't work, he wants to be a guaranteed star. Okay, never mind, crucial. <laughs> Three year deal, yeah, that's okay. We can always just, you know, offer him a new contract, no release cause, yeah, definitely. You know what, I love it when the agent just does everything for you and you can just click accept, accept, just like this. Yeah, brilliant, look. I didn't even have to do anything, class. <laughs> I just love it when, when agents just do it all for you, you know what I mean? It's just, it's brilliant. For now, we'll throw Ogbene in right back. Uh, I know he is a right wing back, he's not a right back, uh, but I do want to do a position change for him to right mid. So, uh, you know, he, actually, I'm telling you, boys, I'm telling you, these are probably like, what are you, what are you thinking? I'm telling you, he's a good asset when you have him in right mid. He's really good when he gets up to speed. Like, I think he gets to like an 81 or 82 overall. Like, that's good to have. That's a good role player to have in the Premier League, like off the bench. So we're going to development plan for all Bene. Now, growth, okay? We need to change your position, mate. So we're going to change you to a right wing. Bang. Boom. Now, ETA, four weeks, not too long, so that's grand, we'll do that. You know what, sometimes it glitches out, yeah, and, it, and then, like, I remember, I can't remember who it was, but I remember I had to change someone from cam to centre mid, and literally, it went, like, ETA, like, 69 weeks. Loan declined, Hannibal! Man, what are you doing, mate? You're not even going to get played for Man United. Like, what are you doing? Oh, my God, man, you, you get loads of game time here. Man, see, that's the only problem we're going to have. We're going to have all these young fellas thinking they're too good for for MFFC, you know, and the league. And they're all just gonna, you know, decline us and we're just not gonna be able to get any youngsters on loan. Our scouts will come back with a few players. Here in centre mid, we have uh, Jordan Mayer. He, he, he looks a bit shit, not gonna lie. So does this guy. But this guy looks decent, you know. Rays, he looks all right. He looks good. He looks like he could be a good, young, valuable player in the future. So. We might, we might approach uh, at the club since 2021, so you know, he's only there. Right, we'll keep him in our transfer list, so for you know future references, we can go back. And we can, you know, try and get the lads. Get get raised. Get the lads, get raised. Why did I say that? Now, guys, also, I want you to get involved as well. So, if you have any suggestions, any players I should get, or, you know, just anything to do with FIFA career mode, with the career mode itself, leave them down in the comments below. I'm more than happy to read through and, you know, pick the most, like, liked ones or whatever, you know what I mean? So, if you see a, a suggestion that you do like, Please make sure to like it and uh, you know what you never know I might take it because to be fair I'm I'm a hundred percent open to transfers um to transfer suggestions on this career mode so by all means leave them down below. Right, so we have a bit to sim until um the start of the league. So I'll, I'm gonna sim that now and I won't let have you like sit through it while I sim like all the training sessions and all. I know I could go up to calendar and all, but in case like transfers come through and stuff, I wanna have a look and obviously I wanna keep you up to date with that. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, so we are now a week out from the league start. We had a few things come true. We can obviously change on Benny's position, which is great. We had a few little things here, you know, transfers. I just didn't even bother looking at them. I know this guy goes 1.4 million roads, but he is our best centre back. So I want to keep him for this season because he is 75 rated and we are in League 2. So he will be really good for us. So I wanted to keep him. So I just didn't even bother entertaining. But this test, I can never say that second name. <laughs> but yeah, we can do Ogbene's, uh, you know, change of position. So we're going to do that. Here we go. Press Y, change position. Look at this. My man is at 71 overall, right wing. Let's go. And the Irish Messi is just, ah, it's great to have him on the team, you know? <laughs> have a bit of Irish blood on the team. Sorry, Daniels. You're going to have to move, mate, because like, Benny's coming through. Right, I know you can't play fullback. So, Archer, you're back in, mate. Daniels was a cam anyways. Look, Daniels is a 68 cam. You know, we might throw him in there instead of, uh, instead of Curtis, you know? I think we're going to throw him in there. Albert, you know, that's just... Like that just whenever I think of someone called Albert, I just think of someone like in the nineteen like tens or something. I just I don't know why. Bro, fifty four rated striker. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty bad. Man. Oh my god, forty nine rated CDM. Yeah, man, I might just release him to be honest. Same with this guy, Chamberlain, right wing, forty nine rated. Man, I might just release these guys. You might as well not even be footballers, boys. <laughs> right now, I want to see if I can change Daniels to a center mid. What age is Daniels, by the way? Actually, I need to see. Uh, he's 27. Is there even a point? Man, Kai Young is 30. Brother, I wanted a very young squad. And all my players are ancient. Kai Young's probably sore. I know his pension now or something. You know what I mean? Same with Daniels. Anyways, look, it is what it is. There's no point doing position change on them. Or is there? 
You know what? I might just do it. I might just do it. I bet you there's loads of people screaming at me. He's like, yeah, it's worth it. Mush, it's worth it. Do it, Kyle. Do it. You know what? I will. I will do it. Just for you guys. Because I know. I know a few years are in your head. Like, why are you not doing this, Kyle? Just do it. You know what? We'll change. We'll change my guy here. Oh, I need to release him instead. Yeah, let's go. Uh, Let's go. Centre mid. Yeah, look. See what, see what I mean? ETH, 172 weeks. Like, bro, I ain't waiting 172 weeks. You'll be gone by then. <laughs> Man's gonna be retired by then. Like, why would I bother? Archer transfer. Uh, no. I want to keep Archer because he's actually a decent fullback. Holy shit, Archer, I just realized, is 31. What? What is going on? I asked for a young squad. Oh, a bunch of dinosaurs, man. What's going on here? Let's have a look. Let's have a look at our transfers real quick, you know. I think I wanted I wanted a fullback, didn't I? A fullback? Yeah, here we go. Right back. Let's have a look here. I want some young right backs that are hungry. Because Archer is, like, really old. <laughs> now, I had a quick look through the fullbacks there. No, but it really tickles my fancy, except for Spence, okay? This guy is a baller in real life, and he's going to be a baller in this game. So, we're just going to keep him here on the watch list, because he is a baller. So... I want him in the future. I don't think he'll come to us. He's on loan now. Don't think he'll come to us um, right now. I'd probably have to buy him. And I like, I don't, I don't think two, two million is going to do it for him. Like, we could try. But I just really don't think. Look, there's, you know, there's no harm in trying. Like, it's not going to... Oh, you sure? He's on loan. What am I talking about? <laughs> right, so our first league game of the season. Sporting that beautiful black and red Nike collar away shirt we are playing against tramier rovers let's do this okay hopefully we get the dub if we don't i'll probably cry now i would do a quick sim i don't know if you would like me to do a sim match or a quick sim i'm thinking do quick sim because just so many games in the in the league too uh and we want to try and get to the premier league as quick as possible you know what i mean yeah, we're just gonna do quick sim. Okay, we're gonna do quick sim. Right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let, let's do it. What? <laughs> let's do it. All right, MFFC against Tamir Rovers. First game in the season. We get a four-one win. Oh my god, man! Absolutely obliterating Tamir Rovers, man. Fifty-nine percent possession, five shots, five chances, four goals, man. That's what you call a clinical. Look at that, brilliant, what a start to the season, what a start to the league, man, I am buzzing, delighted with that, delighted, absolutely delighted, let's see, a Curtis offer, now we did want to get rid of Curtis, didn't we, we did, and you know, he's 27, 1.6 mil ain't bad, how much are they offering, 1.2, I think we should negotiate for 1.6, I mean, if they take 1.6, Curtis can leave. You can't go higher than 1.2. And the sell on pause. We do it. You know what? We're going to do it. We're going to do it, all right? Because we don't need Curtis, okay? Now, we have a bit extra cash. And, you know, we can try and, you know, prize another cam or send them in away. You know what I mean? Promising debut for Ogbené as well. Look at that. Oh my, my guy. Look at how beautiful. Even though that just does not look like Ogbené whatsoever. Still, what a beautiful man. <laughs> right, so EFL Cup against Peterborough. Let's do this. We're sporting our home kit for the first time. We're playing at home in the NF Arena for the first time in front of our loyal fans. Let's do this. I'm ready to go. Quit Sim. Please, let's get the dub. Come on. 1 0. Let's go. Let's go. I'm delighted. Let's go. Beating Peterborough. You know, they did have a bit more possession than us and a few more shots and stuff. But look, you take them. You take the 1 0 okay? It's all about results in the end of the day. It's not about stats, okay? All these stat patterns and all, okay? It's all about results. That's it. That's the Jose Mourinho way. All about results. Okay, now we're moving on to our next game of the season. Our second league game of the season. Oh, oh, Curtis is sold. Curtis is sold. Long, Ronnie Long. Once, all right, that's our goalkeeper. No, we need a goalkeeper. He's young as well, to be fair. So we're going to keep him. Whoa, it is lashing rain outside. Holy shit. <laughs> but Curtis has been sold. We allocated 900k to your transfer budget. Right, we're 3 mil, okay? We still need... A good player for centre mid. Good young player. Charlie Savage. Robbie Savage's son is coming up for us. Do we buy him? I don't think so. <laughs> Again, I'm looking through all these promising centre mids that uh, are scared to get back to us. But they're all on loan or they've just joined the club. So we can't go for them, which is so 
frustrating because I just want a new young cam or center mid to just slot in there because you know uh, like King is all right but I want to get him out to be honest <laughs> like I haven't really made that many transfers I've only made one like and that was Ogbeni I want to make more I need more players here but hey the transfer window doesn't end for another you know 16 or so days so you know in the next episode, I'm going to listen to your comments. We'll make more transfer uh, dealings uh, before transfer deadline. So, yeah. Anyways, next game is Forest Green Rovers. Let's go. We are at home. MFFC. Let's go against Forest Green. Hopefully, we get the dub. And our first draw of the season. We went behind uh, in the 10th minute. But then Albene, our summer signing, has scored the equaliser. And yeah, you know what? I'll take it. 1-1. One, one. We're still we're still undefeated after three games, which is good. So it's a good start. I'm happy with that. Um, another transfer offer from Ronnie Long. I don't want to sell this guy, but he seems to be in demand. So he might be, you know, we might, we might, be, we might have ourselves a little gem. Also, by the way, that last game was not a league game. I just realized because we only played two league games. It must have been a cup. Or, you know what, I'm just going to check real quick because I actually haven't a clue what it was. No, it was the league game. I just can't do maths. You know what, boys? My head's just not in the game today. You know, I had to do my intro about five times today. I just kept messing up. My head is just scrambled. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it was the fact that I was up at half seven today. Uh, I just haven't been able to go back to sleep. And I just said, fuck it, I'm going to record. Maybe I'm just too tired or something. I don't know. Torgan Hazard went to Atletico Madrid. Good signing for Atletico. Anyways, look, Scum Torque United. I hate that name. I just absolutely hate it. It's just one of them names I absolutely hate in football. Scum Torque. Like, so disgusting. It just sounds disgusting. Anyways, Scum Torque United, our third league game of the season. Let's go. The result is a 1 0 win, long with the winner. Let's go. Fuck you, Scunthorpe. It's a horrible name. Like. Let's have another look. Actually, real quick, yeah. You see, uh, Mukuku. I think that's how you say his name. As I said, I'm really bad with names. He has become, in my last few career months, has become a free agent every single time. Okay? So I'm going to add him to our list. Because we might be able to snatch him up as a free agent in like, I think, two years? One or two years. I don't know. But we might be able to snap him up. So we'll just keep we'll keep an eye on that. Because, you know, he obviously has a lot of potential and is really good. So we'll just keep an eye on that. Duncan Watmore. Why is he so familiar? They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're... Oh. Oh, right, yeah. Right, remove him from the list. Cheating bastard. Moving on to our next game. We are playing Harpool, who are 21st in the league. They haven't started off very well. Let's go. Quick sim away in our lovely away kit again. A 2 2 draw against Harpool. Har oh, they scored in the 89th minute to score an equalizer. That is rough. That is hard to take. I have to say, man. Ah, and Archer scored in the 78 minute. It was like we, he'd scored the winner. You probably did think he scored the winner. Ah, oh, that's rough, man. Okay, we have Newcastle in the EFL Cup. To be fair, there's only one way this is probably going to go, and that is probably going to be a loss. But for the quick minute, maybe we might be a surprise. Oh, we just lost on penalties. We actually drew 2-2 with Newcastle. Jesus, Newcastle, that is embarrassing. Oh, we just lost. Oh, King, why are you missing the fucking penalty? And I'll Oh, Benny! Oh, Benny! Why? The Irish Messi, the Messiah, he's let me down. Oh, Benny. Oh, that's so sad, man. That is so, so sad. And Chris Wood missed the first penalty. Ah, oh, that's that's terrible. Look, they were playing Bruno Gmerez, Fraser, Almiron, Wood. Man, they were playing the full team. We got a 2-2 draw. No, I'm proud of the boys. I'm proud of the boys for the effort they put in there. 2-2 draw, not bad. And now, Stevenage United in lead two. This is... Our last game of this episode before the deadline day. Our next episode will take off from deadline day. So let's go. Steven is, that is a rotten kit. Oh my God. Maybe you should employ me to make your new kits next year. That is horrible, man. Anyways, Steven is United versus MFFC. Quick sim. Let's go. Easy money, easy money, easy win. 3-1 win. Look, never in doubt. Albene again with the goal, boys. I told you, Albene at right wing. He's just different gravy. 3-1. Against the evening. Lovely. Great start to the season. I have to say. I'm very happy with the boys. I'm happy with the team. Happy with Ogbeni. We're currently sitting second in League 2. Just two points behind Port Vale. We could easily pull that back. It's so many games to go. Oh, I'm just... I'm gas, man. Good start. 
But anyways, guys, that is going to be the end of episode two. I hope you did enjoy. Again, get your transfer suggestions down below. I'll have a look. I'll definitely take them on board. I'll try my best to do as many transfers as I can on deadline day with the budget I have and try and get some loan players in as well. But anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy episode two of my MFFC career mode, uh, my creative club career mode on FIFA 22. You know how it is. Uh, thank you all for the support on the first episode, by the way. I forgot to say that. Over 400 views. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I think we got about over 60 likes. Fantastic. These are actually the best, boys. Yeah, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for more FIFA career mode. This is not going to be a FIFA orientated channel. So if you have any other game suggestions, leave them down below in the comments and I'll definitely play them. I'll definitely, I'm looking for other games. I'm, I'm looking at doing an F1 career mode. I'm looking at other things. You know, I might even do a Fucking Lego Star Wars playthrough. I don't know. Like, I want to play everything. So let me know what games you want me to play down below. And yeah, without further ado, it's been your boy Mush. And yeah, I'll talk to you all later. Peace.